To balance this equation, KClO3 yields KClO2 plus O2. Let's first count up the atoms on each side of the equation. We have potassium, one of those. Chlorines, we have one. And oxygen, we have three. On the product side, K, we have one. Cl, we have one. And oxygen, we have two. But be careful, we have these two right here and these two here. So two plus two equals four. So we have four oxygens on the product side. So we have an odd number of oxygens here, three of them, and then we have this even number here, four. What I like to do is make this an even number. So I'm gonna put a two in front of this whole molecule here, the KClO3, potassium chloride molecule. And now I have three times the two, that equals six. So I have an even number now. And the chlorine, one times two, that equals two. Potassium, one times two, that equals two. Over here on the product side of the equation, so I have four oxygens and I have six here. Why don't I put a two in front of the KClO2? So, and then we can update the oxygens. So for the oxygens, we have two times two, that's four plus this other two here, that equals six. So that fixed the oxygens, but we have to update the chlorine and potassium now. So one times two, that equals two, and one times two, that equals two. And that actually solves our problem here. The equation's now balanced. We have everything on each side of the equation is the same. We're obeying the law of conservation of mass. The trick here is when you have an odd number of oxygens, it's often helpful to try to make that even. The other thing to watch out for is make sure you count all of the oxygens on both sides of the equations. Here we had the two, and we had to remember these two also. So that's a balanced equation for KClO3 yields KClO2 plus O2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.